Hi, and welcome to CISSP uh, course by Cybrary. And of course, CISSP stands for Certified Information Systems Security Professional. And my name is Kelly Handerhan. I'll be your subject expert, subject matter expert for the class. And I wish you the best of success in preparing for this exam. Just to tell you a little bit about me, uh, I've been in the IT field for going on about 20 years. Um, for those of you that detect a little bit of North Carolina in my accent, I, I am from North Carolina and uh, I started working in the Research Triangle Park area uh, back in the late 90s and have continued on, moved to the DC area so that I've worked with both the uh, uh, commercial and government sector and have been doing that for uh, uh, really since I've been up in the DC area. I've worked with um, of course, networking is really where I got my start. Moved on to cybersecurity, uh, working with PKIs, firewall configurations, all sorts of things, and really have had my hands on all eight of the domains. And hopefully, I can share some of this knowledge and uh, uh, along with uh, the fact that I've taken this exam, and hopefully be able to share with you the information that it will take to make you uh, to help you pass. So, my email address down below, you'll notice again, Kelly Handerhan is my name. My email. Address address Kelly Morrison at yahoo.com. That's my maiden name. I'm going to make sure this marriage works out before I get a new email address. Going on six, seven years, but still not quite sure enough to get a new account. So uh, the certifications I have that are relevant, CASP, uh, which is CompTIA's and uh, Advanced Security Professional Certification, um, PMP, Project Management Professional. And I actually put that down as well because it's the type of certification that actually will help you with this exam. So if any of you have the PMP cert, uh, I think that'll be beneficial. I have numerous cert other certifications. I've been certified in Cisco, Microsoft, certified engineer, CompTIA certifications, and numerous others. Um, it, it, it's just very beneficial in the region in which I live to have the certifications. If you have the knowledge, you might as well get certified. So that's one thing I would really encourage you is if you are sitting and watching this class online, go ahead and get the certification. Even if you're just doing this for your own knowledge, once you know the material, get the letters behind your name. You never know when a job might require it. You never know when it's going to be something you need on the resume. So I encourage you to get this certification. It is a tough certification, but it is definitely doable, and hopefully the material in your class will put you uh, nearer to that goal. 